Representative Ward. Speaker, I rise in opposition. Please proceed in opposition. I would like to continue with the vision deficit that was brought up by my colleague from Kailua. This is a budget deficit, but really the vision deficit of thinking other than hitting the private sector that creates the jobs. And she's only talking about the contracting industry. What about the airline industry that's going to take a hit and make everybody pay more to fly to various parts of uh, the U.S. as well as inner island? 80% of our food comes from ships. Those who unload and load ships are going to be hit. So, Speaker, I appreciate you getting up and speaking out with such compassion. But, Speaker, the vision of where we are taking the people of Hawaii leaves a lot to be desired. We have to show how year after year we're not just going to keep cutting in to what otherwise has been the sustaining part of our economy. And as my colleague from Kailua said, what got us out of the slump of the 90s? The real estate market. And following the real estate market, the construction market. We can't keep hammering these back down. The vision deficit is we've got to, as I mentioned earlier in one of my uh, speeches, the green jobs that we've basically passed right by, the lack of political will to do solar and photovoltaic. We punted it over the PUC instead of taking the policy by the horns and implementing it. Uh, we have proposals to sell Aloha Market, the Aloha Tower, different ways of getting through these difficult times. Mr. Speaker, this bill gets us $175 million, as the Chair of Finance said. It's a, it's a fixed pillar in this budget. But a fixed pillar, if it holds up the building, but then in a couple of years collapses the whole structure, what good will it have been? And that's what your minority is saying. Be careful of stalling the economy, hurting those jobs that are out there, because if we get any more unemployment, then we will cut our nose to spite our face. We have to be long-range strategic planning, working on our strengths, minimizing our weaknesses. And our weaknesses in the state of Hawaii is quite frankly taxing and taxing, learning and getting a reputation of we're anti-business, we're not welcoming people, investment capital is minimal, and this is, again, for saving the government workers and the private sector workers. But I think this body is a little bit tilted too far on the public sector workers and forgetting those who are out there in the private sector. That's 80% of who the people of Hawaii are, who we are supposed to all represent. So, Speaker, this is a pillar, but I think it's going to hold up the wrong building with the economy that we know cannot support all of these tax increases. With that, I'm voting no, and I hope my colleagues will also vote no. Thank you. Thank you very much.